but don't try to approach women if you if you masturbate. Yo, Elliot. Yo, Elliot. For many years, I convinced myself that my lack of love life was because I was focused on myself or because I'm no longer a degenerate who sleeps around. However, I came to accept the fact that I was lying to myself. The real reason is that I am afraid to approach girls. I had success with girls back when I was in college with the help of alcohol, and I didn't and I don't find it hard to flirt with girls at work. What I struggle with is going out and approaching new girls. Any tips on the right way to pick up or am I just uh, trying to learn a degenerate skill? Uh, most of the advice out there is for getting laid and not necessarily finding a potential wife. So uh, the first thing I would just have to address is in terms of your frame when you're going to speak to a woman. Um, the very first thing you have to get out of your system is to need something from her. A lot of guys, they're nervous for, uh, to speak to women because they, they have a desired outcome and you need to be outcome independent. When you speak with a woman, you can't be dependent on whether, you know, what her response is going to be. It has, you have to be completely neutral. Like, you know, I'm just, I'm just talking to you and the way you respond has no bearing on, on me. Now, how you get there, and this is, this is, is going to sound strange, but follow me. The way you get there with regard to women is not to be addicted to their drug. Their drug is actually the drug inside you, which is the neurochemical explosion that happens in your brain when you ejaculate. Most guys, this, this is, you know, people will argue with me and shit and be like, no, we just want to be friends. No, when a guy's going up to a woman, he's thinking and he sees with his dick, right? I mean, you're going to vet, but you're not going to go up to an ugly woman and vet her. You go up to a woman that, that gets you feeling like, boy, I would like to kiss her and snuggle her and tickle her and play with her in all kinds of different ways, right? So uh, with that, you have a imprint in your brain about how that feels, right? And that's the drug. That's the, that's the drip drug that you're addicted to. So when you see that girl, there's this sense that you might get that high, right? Even though you maybe, maybe, maybe you're not trying to have sex with her right away, but ultimately you're not going to go up to a woman that you don't want to have sex with. So the first thing that's coming to your mind is sex. And if you have a strong orgasm imprint on your brain, you're going to be like a drug dealer going up to a, dr a drug, you're going to be like a drug addict going up to a drug dealer who just came off his high and that's when you need it the most. If you ever, if you ever been on any kind of drugs, the time you want the drug the most is when you're coming off it. You ever drink, you ever binge drink? That's because as your drunk is coming down, you want more of it. A drug, a drug addict who's going up to a drug dealer while he's just coming off his high is in a very vulnerable place. And so how this translates to you is if you're watching porn, if you're jerking off, if you're busting your nut and not semen retaining, you got latent drug synapses going off in your brain that when you go up to that woman, you're just like the crack addict. Man, I just came off. And you don't, you, most people don't think of it this way. This is, this is kind of like new way of thinking about things. But don't try to approach women if you, if you masturbate. Because you have the masturbat masturbatory drug response in your head. And it's like, you know, at a primal level, you're thinking, oh, I get, a, I get, another, I get another high right there. And, and you know what a woman is so much better. Is, there's nothing beats having sex with a woman. Uh, over masturbating, right? There's no po sexual polarity there. You're just playing with yourself. It's dumb. Jerking off is dumb. So uh, you still have that latent coming off the high. And when you, when you, you still could crave it. You could still taste it. You got to get the whole orgasm taste out of your physiology before you go out there approaching women. Because once again, she going to be your drug dealer and yeah, if you ever, like, I've only seen it in movies and shit like that. But if you ever catch a drug addict going up to his dealer, he looks real nervous. Hey man, you got anything to fix me up? You got anything? 
man, I'm hurting right now, bro. What you got? Come on, man. You got to have something. Even though you're not saying that, that energy is coming off of you when you go talk to a woman. And she can sense it. A woman, this is crazy too. I don't know if this is scientific, <laughs> but I heard it and I believe it. A woman can, in a way, a woman can sense your sperm. And if you have a have a have balls full of sperm, you have a you have you're just full of your nut. You got a full nut. You carry it all your strength, right? You didn't release it. A woman could sense that. A woman could sense, and and you'll notice it too, because you just you when you you think about your dick. If you got a if you're full. All you got to do is think about it and it's like it starts doing this it starts straightening up what's up but when you got a limp dick because you've been draining your balls with masturbating and you think about your dick your dick is like uh, and you in a way the two heads work together if your dick is like uh, your head's gonna be like that too she gonna sense oh this guy's a limp dick this guy's got a limp dick and again it's not about it's not all about sex but the sexual frame uh, everything is within a sexual frame, right? I understand about being degenerate and, and you know developing degenerate skill. I'm not saying go out there so that you could be a man whore, but if you're talking to a woman so that you can find a potential wife, these things are present and prevalent and important. You got to be full of cum, young, dumb, and full of cum. Otherwise, you're gonna be you're gonna be a limp dick dude trying to talk to girls and be acting flaccid. You don't want that. Um, that's, that's frame, right? That's how you view yourself, how your physiology is. Um, also remember that you're the prize. This is important, right? You're like, I always say, you're checking her out as a potential employee. You ever, I've been around some real high power entrepreneurs, Right. These guys, like I've, I've gone to masterminds. I've been friends. I got friends that are, you know, they're, they're more high power than me. I'm not a high power entrepreneur. I got a non job. <laughs> I'm talking about these guys that build businesses with, with it, lots of employees and shit. I don't have a lots of employees. I don't want lots of employees. But these guys who have lots of employees, they're always head hunting. I got a friend that does that. He's always head hunting. He's always on the scout for somebody who might be a good employee someday. And he carries his business card. And we'll just be like talking to somebody. And you'll be like around a bunch of guys. And we'll be talking to somebody. And he'll be like, hey, man, if you, ever want to, if you ever want a job in copywriting, give me a call. I might have an opportunity for you. He'll just say shit like that. He'll just be like, hey, man, if you're ever interested in a job in internet marketing, take my card. Give me a call. I might have an opportunity for you. He does this. He's headhunting. That's the way you have to think about when you when you deal with women a lot of times is, hey, I might have an opportunity for you. You know, you look like you might be uh, you, because he only does that to people that present themselves worthy. Right. Wow. You seem like you might be worthy. Let me present an opportunity for you sometime. Right. That's just a mindset. I'm not talking you talking to you about pickup or how to how to do it for that. I'm going to introduce you to some of my favorite resources. So I'm gonna share my screen right here with you. And so there are a bunch of guys on YouTube. Now, before I, I share this with you, um, I'm not into pickup. I don't pick up women. I don't talk to women. I've been married, happily married, many years. I'm happy that I don't have to deal with women in that way. But because I'm a mentor, I'm an elder, I deal with young men that deal with these problems, I look for solutions to your problems. I oftentimes put myself in you guys' frame, and so I watch videos that answer questions that I know I get a lot of. So before anybody goes out there saying, oh, Elliot, married man, studying pickup. No, I'm not out there studying pickup. I'm, I'm gathering intel from my fellas, <laughs> right? Right? That's the truth. So here's, let me share my screen. Boom. So if you, if you search more plates, more dates, I really like this guy. It, but then you put how to talk to girls because I've seen a bunch of his videos like that. And I watched them. He's got a bunch of videos on how to talk to girls and not run out of shit to say. And it's real basic stuff. I got to be completely honest. 
It's real basic stuff, but he lays it out there for you. And he's a cool dude because he lifts. So he's got this one I watched. You can see I watched most of it, right? Uh, how to hit on a girl at the gym. How to cold approach women without wasting any of your free time. React is my first cold approach ever. Um, back in my Pua days. He even talks about how you have to grow up out of uh, pickup. You know, he says you need to get the, get the girls, get Pua phase out of your life as soon as possible. You know, just do it. Um, five tips on not getting nervous. They're good videos. And he's a good guy. He's a meathead like us. He likes to lift. Actually, I think I found him for some videos uh, about lifting. But then, I, you know, more of his videos kept coming up. Here he is. This is a channel. And I just kept watching his videos. Look at him. He's Jack. And I guess this whole thing is about, you know, be Jack so that you can get more dates. His, his lifting advice or his training advice is good. But also, he's got good advice on how to, how to talk to girls. Um, let me see if I give you a recap of any of them that I saw. In this one, he gives some good tips on, he says, basically, you just talk about whatever you want to talk about. First thing that pops into your mind. If you see a girl, you just first thing that pops in your mind. And here's funny. I did this. And it's not, again, I'm not practicing. But when I was watching this video, I was in my garage. I was watching, I was doing my workout. I was listening to it in the garage. And he said, you just, the first thing that pops into your mind when you see a girl, just talk about it. Just go up to her and start talking about it. And at that, as he said that, a woman, a girl, young lady was walking by, walking her dog from my garage. And she looked like, she looked like a gymnast. And the First thing that popped in my head was this girl looks like she's maybe an ex gymnast or something. So then I thought to myself, well, what would I say to her if I was going to pick up? Mind you, I don't practice this shit, <laughs> but I was practicing for you guys in my brain. And I saw her walk by, and the first thing I would have said to her is, "Hey, what event?" And she would, she would probably have been like, "What are you talking about? Which event? What what gymnastic event? In tumbling or the rings or the parallel bars? Which one? Which one do you do?" And she would have been like a little confused, but guess what? It would have opened up a conversation. It would just open up the conversation. And I would, if I was wrong that she wasn't a gymnast or an ex-gymnast, I would have, I would apologize. I'd be like, wow, damn, well, you, you should probably try it out. You'd probably be good at it. You're built like it. Have you ever seen, uh, the, the, was that a little black girl, Styles or something? I would just made stuff up. I just would have made stuff up. The, you know, the box of Wheaties, the girl in the box of Wheaties when she was the Olympic uh, gymnast. Just, just, you can just go down that rabbit hole of gymnastics and working out. If she was an ex-gymnast, you could just continue the conversation about gymna being a gymnast. You know, what? Well, oh, did you do it in high school? What high school? Well, and you just, you just, you just, you come up with something that comes to your head right away. This is what he talks about in the video. I'm not making this shit up. I'm tell you what he says. And then you just kind of roll with it. You just roll with it. You just make a conversation. Remember, you're not a crack addict. Don't be a crack addict about it. You're just talking to somebody. You're just talking to somebody. That's it. And if you get to the point and he tells you in this video, this video, he does a really good job. I just watched this one before, uh, earlier today. Uh, he says, don't be afraid to just ask for the number. You know, so if, if, if say, for example, that girl, you know, we had that little conversation about being gymnast. Uh, then at the end, you would just say, hey, we should get together sometime. Don't ask her. Tell her, hey, we should get together sometime. Right. Hey, we should get together sometime. What's your phone number? Right. And that's it. That's it. That's all. And then you watch this video, how not to be uh, nervous on your first date. But his, his tips are good. His advice is good. I suggest you watch them. All you know, right. So I'm giving you guys resources because I'm not the expert in this. So that's resource number one. I've mentioned this guy's a bunch of times. Darius M. His videos are more about mindset and woman's mindset. And it's, it's more like he's more focused on the frame and like what you know, not necessarily how to talk to a girl like the other guy, more plates, more dates, but he's more about like, just read the titles. You get an idea, you know, all women get turned off when you do this. Good. So you're going to tell you what not to do. And I've watched enough of his videos. I probably tell you, I probably already know what he's going to tell you not to do. Don't act needy. Right. They get turned off if you act needy. Uh, this behavior makes you extremely attractive. He's good at titles. Don't let the clickbait titles bother you because somebody who knows how to write good titles has good information, right? Good clickbait is is because you're getting something good. There's a lot of good clickbaity titles and thumbnails, but they're good videos. Uh, if she does this on the first date, walk away, right? I don't even remember what it was, but I watched that one. So go through. This is my. This is another one, right? I'm not saying these are the only guys around. But more plates, more dates. Darius M. 
and I got to throw this guy in as a bonus. Steph is cold. <laughs> I just like his attitude. I just like the way he talks. Like, look at his face. Uh, his information is good. It's a little black pill sometimes, meaning if, you, if your feelings get hurt, like that's why he calls himself Steph is cold, I guess. If your feelings get hurt easy and you're going you're gonna to have that like uh, red pill rage, don't watch his videos because he'll make you get angry. But if you can stay cool and, and relaxed and watch it and just see it for what it is, his videos are great. There was one that I watched the other day. This one, check this out, the way he talks. So he analyzes videos where women are talking. Just listen to him. Just check out his, his character. The pattern is I can do what I want to do without my actions being held accountable for. The 80-20. So in other words, the video is influencing other women that watch Breakfast Club, which is millions of women, influencing them to have the mindset of, even though I date this guy or not even date, even though I'm committed to this guy, I'm still going to keep my options open, wide open, ah, wide open like SpongeBob's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna keep her options open just like that. Ah, just like. So you can see why I like him. He's he's got a lot of charisma. <laughs> he has a lot of charisma. So go check him out. And and let me get my screen back here. Uh, the bottom line here is that there are some good guys that I you know out there. Study their stuff. I don't think there's anything wrong with studying this stuff. Study pickup. Study how to talk to girls. Is something that maybe our uncles should have taught us when we were kids, you know, something that like I think was basic back in the day and that there was no shame for teaching. Um, not only have we lost that connection with the older men who are supposed to be the ones teaching us this stuff, but we've become more and more awkward in the, with the ease of pornography and, and getting lost in video games and the technology that makes us very awkward. So now more than ever, you gotta, you have to be courageous enough to be social, right? That's really what you're doing. Uh, more plates, more dates. I don't even remember his whole real name. In one of his videos, I watched it earlier, he says, practice just being social with people. Practice just being social with people. He says, don't go out there and start trying to pick up girls right away. He said, just go to the supermarket and talk to a random guy. He says, start small. Just start small, making random conversation with a guy in line. Then make a random conversation with a woman that, you have, that you're not interested in at all. You just practice in making conversation. And then you start to like build up. And he says, hold yourself accountable. He says, if you're gonna do it, then make sure you do it and hold yourself accountable. So as you get more comfortable just talking to random people, it'll it'll feel just as natural to talk to a pretty girl, right? It's no different. I talk to this guy, I talk to you. I don't need anything. See the old man as you're talking to, because you're a crack addict, but you know he don't have crack. With the young lady, if you're a crack addict and you know she has crack, you, you'll, you'll be all jacked up and nervous. But just be smooth, just be cool, just talk like you're talking to anybody else. She doesn't have anything you need. You just offer, you just, you know, you checking her out because she might be worthy of an opportunity. So that's it, dude. I hope that helps. Done. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from the coaching sessions that I have every week with my King Transformation students where among other things, we get together for about four or five hours a week. We talk all things related to becoming kings in our lives in fitness, business, and with women. If that sounds like you and you want to join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram and then DM me the word king, K-I-N-G. Me and my team will get back to the details and see if you qualify to join us. Hope to see you at our next meeting. Done.